All right, that's the first fish. It's Alex from Amped Up Outdoors, and today we're going to be fishing these. Joe's flies, spinners, for some trout. Let's do it. So before we get started, <clears throat> we're gonna check out some of these. I got a couple different color selections. We got the quarter ounce, they're all quarter ounce baits. This is the March Brown. I have two in that same exact color. I have one of the Fire Tiger Apache, which looks to be just like a traditional black skirt with a little bit of green in it. And it's got the uh, silver with the silver Colorado blade. These both, the March Browns, got the gold Colorado blades. Um, and then we have the Mellow Yellow, which is pretty sweet. It's got the little bit of red, yellow feather to it with the uh, gold and uh, gold Colorado blade on it. So let's take a look at these things. I'll show you guys up close and personal here. So that's the March Brown. That is the Fire Tiger Apache. And that is the mellow yellow, all quarter ounce. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, so we're gonna pull one out the pack. Um, I think the first one I am gonna tie on will be this March brown color. So we're gonna pull this thing off and get a closer look at it so you can see what this bait looks like and why. I kind of prefer these over rooster tails for several different reasons actually. Um, I do love rooster tails. I think rooster tails are an extremely effective bait, but I do prefer the Joe's flies over them, um, mostly because of the Colorado blade. I feel like this particular lure, <clears throat> rather than a rooster tail, one of my biggest um, pet peeves with rooster tails are when you're throwing them, like sometimes that blade isn't spinning. You know, things get all like whatever, and then it's like not going through the water. It's not swimming true as you would want. I do find more success fishing these Joe's flies um, in shallow water, deeper water, whatever it may be. <clears throat> I just feel like this bait is a better constructed bait. Um, you know, I think the QC, the quality control on these baits are really good. I think they're a consistent bait. Um, every time I'm throwing them, I'm not having issues with that guy. See that guy? That thing's always spinning, man. It's always spinning. Um, and that's crucial when you're fishing a kind of, you know, inline spin or something, you know, light action kind of deal. Um, you need the movement, right? That's why we're throwing this thing. You don't want it to just, eh, eh, eh. but um, yeah, all in all, I do, I love these Joe's flies, man. They're a super consistent bait. They fish really well. They catch a lot of fish. I really love the color selections with them. I like the fact that you have the treble as a trailer and you also have the main hook as well. So your hookup ratio should be, in theory, more successful, but to be honest, I really don't think that matters too much. It's not really about the hookup ratio. I mean, I, I, I catch them on both hooks, that's fine. Same with rooster tails or any other kind of spinner. The single treble does well, and I actually prefer the single hook rooster tail over the treble hooks just because I have uh, more of a chance to not hurt the fish and treble hooks are a pain. They, they just are. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of them. I prefer to throw singles if possible but given this situation this is what we're stuck with. Um, so yeah I'm going to go ahead and uh, tie this bad boy on. We're going to go out to the water and we're going to go ahead and see if we can catch the fish. testing out some Joe's flies today. Once again, this is one of the, they're all quarter ounce, the ones I'm throwing. So that's what I'm gonna throw all, all day, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, just kind of walk around a little bit, fish a couple different spots, a couple holes, and see if we can go ahead and uh, put these lures to the test. So I've fished these plenty, so I already know all about them, but right off the bat, one of the things I do want to show you that I was mentioning is just the consistency of this bait. 
with that Colorado blade. This lure is always spinning true, man. It's always fishing true. And what I mean by that is it's, it's just doing what it's supposed to do. You know, it's doing what it's designed to do. And what I run into a lot with other baits, especially cheaper baits in this uh, style, is, is they don't swim true. You know, the, the, the blade gets all messed up and kinked up and it's all, <laughs> it's just inconsistent and you're going to miss a lot of fish that way. You're going to miss a whole lot of fish that way. You know, you want something that's going to do what it's supposed to do, you know. You're spending your money on a bait like you want it to perform. And I will say that the Joe's Fly stuff is, is very, very consistent. Very consistent. And I can bring this thing down to a crawl, too. I can really slowly throw this bait back. And it's still just swimming perfectly. So, now we got to catch some fish. All right, I'm going to try over here in these rocks. See if I can get one coming down all these jagged rocks right here. All right, that's the first fish on the Joe's fly. It just came up and smoked it right out of right out of those rocks there. Oh, it's a beautiful rainbow too. Nice little chunky guy. Chunky guy. Look at that. Take a look at that thing. Gorgeous fish. Only Joe's fly. Perfect. We're gonna get them unhooked and uh, <clears throat> let them go. So I don't know if I mentioned this in the video earlier, but I got this on the top hook. Don't even need the treble. Didn't even need the treble. There we go. Whew. This one's got some spunk to it, but it's a nice thick rainbow trout, man. It's a beautiful fish. That is a gorgeous fish. One of Joe's fly. All right, first one of the day. Let's see if we can get a couple more. <clears throat> Starting to rain. Kind of hoping we beat that, but let's try a different color. Um, for reference, the, the lure I started out with was the, was the uh, March Brown. We're going to switch over to the Mellow Yellow. We're going to at least catch one on a different color. This rain is going to cut this pitch short. So I pulled the March Brown off. I'm going to go ahead and uh, try this Mellow Yellow out. Get this thing tied on. Just a simple fisherman's knot. All right, we're good to go. All right, lure number two. Once again, the consistency with these baits. She's just perfect, man. Every time. Every time. It's a well built bait. Good quality control, too. That's the key. That's the. That is what you want. Trying to raise that thing above that big rock there because that's kind of that could double as a snag. Sometimes I just want to let off of it and let it kind of flutter down. And I'll slowly start to bring this thing back up. Man, I'm upset it's raining. I was kind of hoping to beat that. All right, so mellow yellow. This bait casts really well, too. That's another thing. I mean, you get great distance on this thing. Great distance. Oh, there we go. Got another one. Got another one. Number two. Different color. This is the mellow yellow. Second cast with the mellow yellow, actually. Standing upstream right in this nice little pocket. And... Sure enough, 
Look at that. Another beautiful rainbow. Number two. Oh, no, 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 no. Whew. Man, that herring was like, yo, I'm about to eat that. <laughs> Dude, the bird's like mad at me. I got to get this thing on hook before uh, we got a major problem. But uh, yeah, man. Number two with the uh, Joe's Fly. This is the Mellow Yellow. Beautiful color. Beautiful fish. Rainbow number two. Second cast. All right. Ready to go. There she goes. All right. That's going to wrap up the Joe's Fly video today. Caught a couple. Got two fish. Um, one on the March Brown and the other one the Mellow Yellow. Uh, we're about to get pelted with a bunch of rain, so I got to get going. I don't want to get soaking wet. Um, waders ain't going to help me out with that. But nonetheless, let's just talk about the bait real quick. Um, first off, this thing is consistent. I can't say that enough. Um, it just fishes consistent, man. The blade's always spinning. It's always coming back, not getting knotted up and whatnot. Um, and that gets you more strikes, man. Catches you more fish with a consistent bait. And that's something that you should pay attention to with everything that you purchase. Um, just get used to the way it's supposed to fish. The way, you know, that bait responds in the water. And you can find some subtle nuances between, you know, certain manufacturers that make the bait. They look identical. It's the same thing. But they may be slightly different. You know, they may fish a little bit different than one or the other. And that's quality control. <clears throat> Shitty QC. It's not good, you know, you don't want those kind of things. Um, but as far as the Joe's Flies are concerned, man, they are a consistent bait. I love them, I love fishing them. And uh, I always keep them in my tackle box, man. I always got them ready every time I come out here and do this kind of thing. I always got one or two, you know, ready to ready to go. Um, as well as the rooster tails, I do love rooster tails. I'll probably do a video on them next, because that's like the tried and true staple. You know, it's the one bait that everybody grabs, which I do love. I mean, I, I do love them too. I like the color selection. That's something that, you know, the Joe's Fly don't really have. You know, it's very minimal, but they are effective. Uh, rooster tails give you more variety in terms of, you know, color selection and choices and size and this and that and so on and so forth. But we'll get into that. That'll be the next video. We'll, we'll fish some rooster tails. Um, or we may just come out and just do some trout fishing with whatever I have in my box so I can not be limited on, you know, one specific style of lure. Um, that'd be nice. So maybe I'll do that and then do some rooster tail stuff. But yeah, these, these, these winter videos, man, they're just quick fishes. You know, we're just grabbing a bait, checking it out, fishing it, seeing how it goes. And, and that's it, man. Simple, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, easy peasy, beautiful cover girl, whatever else you want to say, don't matter. I'll see you next time. Ant up outdoors. This is Alex Cook, Joe's Fly. See you.